update. I'm on the kitchen floor now, obviously. Uh, I made a second pattern and realized that I cut it wrong again. So now it's time to measure a third time. Uh, cut just the pattern, not the fabric, luckily. So now I get to do it again, which is fun. So here we go. Third time. Okay, I have it pinned and I think I'm about to cut it. I think I did it right this time. I guess I should take a measurement paper just to make sure. Zero. I wish I had a rotary cutter. Okay. Alright. See how this First piece cut, uh, the bottom is super jagged, but I can fix that. Right, we are a trip to Joann's, a rotary cutter that I bought, and more material and stuff later. I haven't made any progress besides what I've said in the video. I think the ruffles will be fine. I think I was wrong. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I need to get back to cutting. My nose is running so badly because I'm like, I don't know, the dogs are making me itchy and the weather changed so that's the update here comes bud wow not even gonna make an appearance there they are okay <laughs> had the first rotary cutter incident already so that's done i cut out the second leg and now i guess i'm gonna work on the ruffles and see what happens this fabric was cut like super unevenly um like from joann's so hopefully it will work out fine i don't know just blinging it Oh, if it comes across, I can. My nose looks red, but I am so like my eyes feel like they're gonna like close, and I keep sneezing and my nose keeps running. So I'm just gonna go to bed. I took a Benadryl to hopefully help with like the allergy stuff. I'll take a Claritin tomorrow, but you can only take one of those every 24 hours. So I wanted to make sure that I could get it like all day. But I don't know. Tonight I've just been like really itchy and stuff. So I did not get any further on the pants on the leg warmer type things. I tried to do one of the ruffle panels, but the material is like stretchy and kind of like slippery, so the um, stitches weren't even. So I had to just take it out and I'm gonna try again tomorrow. So hopefully I will feel better tomorrow. It's literally like 9 p.m., but I'm, I'm so tired. I feel like I can't keep my eyes open. So that's it, bye. No updates on the pants today because I didn't work on them. It happens. Um, here's my hair again. <laughs> I washed it today and I just like, I'm so surprised by how short it is now. And like the ends, they're all, they're not, they're not split and all raggedy and weird looking. It's so weird. I also got long layers, which I don't think I got last time. So it's like, 
it's weird. But yeah, here's an update of my hair, even though you already saw me dyeing it. Um, it's Sunday night, but it's still pretty early. I have some things I need to do before I go to bed, but I think I'll be able to do them and hopefully start the week out better. I need to clean my room. I was planning to do that today and I didn't. I slept in late. I took a nap or like in the morning still. I hadn't really like gotten up and done anything and I didn't really do much of anything. So fun. Happy Sunday. Okay, so I tried this ruffle again, first time today, and it did a lot better. I think there was like one stitch that was still uneven, but I didn't use tissue paper. I just went really slow and tried to be really careful, so I'm gonna hopefully just do that. We'll see how this turns out. I still have to like do the actual like ruffling, like pulling the basting stitch, but yeah, this material is a little difficult to work with, but look how beautiful it is. It's perfect for the costume, so yeah, we'll see how this turns out. Okay, so here's the first ruffle and I think it's gonna work. I still have to, I'll need Maddie here to help me like position it properly. But I think, I think I'm on the right track. So I'm going to figure out how to cut the sashes next and go from there. Okay, update. I did the first blue ruffle and I sewed it on. It's not amazing but it does the job, so I'm gonna sew the gold one, see if I can do that, and hopefully have the first one finished. And I'd like to get the first set finished tonight. That way I also know if they'll fit both Elizabeth and Maddie, so I won't have to make a separate pattern, or like see what adjustments I need to make. So yeah, the goal is to get the first pair finished tonight, hopefully. Here's the gold ruffle that we're gonna try and do now. Slow and steady with this material, just, we'll see. is done. It went fairly smoothly. Uh, the stitches were a little uneven at parts but because this is being ruffled and then just like sewn on like this I don't think it super matters. So hey making progress. Gold ruffle is pinned. How's she look? How's she looking? Good so far I think. So I'm gonna try and sew it. Hopefully it's a little easier as I keep sewing the ruffles and then we'll see what happens. I was planning to take a video of me sewing the gold on, but I forgot to do that. But it is on now. So here, here she is. She is sewn. update on today. I think I was pretty productive. I worked and I picked up extra dog food and like I did a little um, like drive up pickup thing from Target so I did that for the first time. I came back and I worked on the costume some and made dinner. I finished the first pair of the little like Don and the Dynamo things. You obviously saw clips. Oh uh, well I didn't actually finish. I just need one more uh, seam on the last on like the second the second one to have the pair done. I think that I can do hopefully another pair tomorrow and then Wednesday the next one and then we'll be done. Fingers crossed. I just the second one went a lot quicker than the first one. I just feel like I kind of know what I'm doing. That doesn't necessarily mean that it got better because it's just kind of hard. S sewing is a skill that I don't necessarily have so sometimes it turns out different than other times. Other times better um, but it's just luck whenever it's like super good so yeah that's that but I still need to clean my room didn't do that that's again it's just gonna have to wait because that's on pause right now while I'm working on the costumes so that's it don't look at this it's annoying me okay bye <laughs>
I was about to take my medicine and then take this video and I dropped my medicine like my pill container thing my weekly thing and it just spilled all over the floor so then I had to like make Skye leave the room because I didn't want her to like try and eat any of them and pick them all up and I think I missed one but I can't find it and I can't be bothered to look for it I just spent like three ish hours sewing but I finished the second pair of like the like warmer things and I cut out all of the stuff except for the actual like main part of the third pair so all I have to do is cut that out and then basically sew the other stuff on which is still kind of difficult and I need to work out the elastic and how that's gonna work since Elizabeth needs hers to be a little bit smaller but yeah we'll just see what happens we're kind of on schedule. Um, I was getting kind of frustrated at the, at the end because my sewing machine just kept doing things and I don't really know why it's doing it and I just keep going and hope so that it stops and it kind of did so we'll see. They turned out fairly decent so far so crossing my fingers for the third pair because then we'll be done. I got picked up tonight by my brother so she's back with her family which I'm sure she's very happy about but will miss her. I finished sewing the clip before this. I showed all of the little um, leg warmer things. I finished sewing them so they're done and I can breathe and I feel very good about it. Um, I've stayed up till almost midnight every night this week sewing them so I am very glad that they're done. And now I feel like powerful even though like the entire time I was sewing I was just like uh also, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to separate them or put it in this video or not, but if you see the clips of me, the like time-lapse videos of me sewing, and like I've mentioned this before in videos, whenever I like concentrate on anything, I like stick my tongue out or like bite my lips or like a combination of it all. And so last night when I couldn't sleep, I looked it up and apparently that's because a lot of your brain power goes to just like telling your tongue what to do because like it has to help you like talk and it has to help you like not choke and... A bunch of things and just like not biting it at all the time so apparently like sticking it out you're like telling it to do like one specific thing and that way you can focus on whatever is at hand also something to do with like using hand-eye coordination like takes more focus or something I don't know but I it, <laughs> a lot of the articles talked about like oh why do children do this and I'm like mm, guess I'm still a child <laughs> so that's that um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sewing is all I've talked about. I need to finish watching the Big Brother finale. Uh, I don't really care who wins, so... But I'm gonna watch it anyway. <laughs> I think I have like 20 minutes left because I was watching it while I was sewing, so... That is it. That's the update for today. Wednesday was productive. I literally thought it was Thursday until like noon today, so that's disappointing, but it's fine. Still 11-ish as I'm taking this video, but tonight I wasn't sewing. I didn't really do much, much of anything productive tonight. I was supposed to make a meal plan for November so I can just like so we have it scheduled like what we're gonna have for dinner and then we can go grocery shopping to get like all the non-perishable stuff but I didn't do that so I guess I'll do that tomorrow. I also need to watch the decom and I still haven't really prepped much for NaNoWriMo at all. I'm not sure what story I'm gonna write. It's fine you know in 2018, the first year that I successfully completed it, I don't think I prepped at all. I don't think that I had any idea. I just started writing. So I have like a little bit of an idea or I might start a story that I've started and then abandoned. I don't know. We'll see. You'll definitely be updated. <laughs> I'll be checking in every day. So. Hi, I'm going to share a video that lives rent free in my head. Currently, at least what's coming to mind, is a video of Casey Musgraves performing and she says to the crowd, when I say you, you say ha. <laughs> and they say ha. And she said I didn't say fucking ye. <laughs> it makes me laugh. That's it. I still need to go to Party City tomorrow. Maddie painted my nails. Ooh, they match the um, leg warmer things. It's very nice. This isn't exactly gold. It's more of like, I don't know, it has some like pinky shades to it, but that's fine. I'm excited for tomorrow. I really want to make my hair like big and curly. I don't know if I have the means to do that, but I'm going to try. Also, this is my hair like naturally 
wavy happening things. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's doing better after I got my hair cut, but it's still kind of like streamy and straggly. So, I don't know. That's it. <laughs> Shout out to Casey Musgraves. I really don't- I only know Follow Your Arrow and Merry Go Round, but those songs slap. And that video, I'm gonna go watch it right now. I'm not kidding. Okay, bye.